hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you how you can create images through text in your n workflows so you can use it for multi-purpose either it can be for any thumbnail publishing or it can be also for some posting or whatsoever your use cases so let's get started so first of all you uh, you need to go to this website huggingface.co so over here you will find tons of models um, you can select any model you like so so before that you have to log in so if you're not previously registered to this hugging face register yourself and create your account and then um, you have to click this models and over here you will find a multiple tasks already built in so you can just select in my my use case is to just generate images from text so i will select this text to image so you will find this uh, these many models available for you uh, which you can use to generate images from so in my case i'll be using this black forest labs flux.1 dash dev so it's updated on it was updated on june 27 so it's um not very much old so you can use that and there is this one also but some models are free and some require your subscription so i'll be sharing you the free version so this one is free black forest labs so you can see how the image generation looks like in this model so so what you'll need to do is you need to um, view api code click on this button and then um, you will find this um, plus one hf interface api so it means hugging face interface api so i'll be actually accessing this api through hugging face so then um, you can have it in python but i'll be using javascript because n8 and sports javascript and you can see over here that this is my javascript i have to select this fetch tab um, so over here i can see a function and this is whole api code which i can use to access this model so okay so now what you need to do is you need to come to your n and workflows so let's say this is my n and workflow and you need to have this HTTP request node you can just search it in this search HTTP request so this will be the node and it has specific parameters and you have to um, give information in those parameters those fields so let me show you an easy method how you can um, fill those fields so you need to um, go to chat gpt or whatsoever um, you have to take the screenshot of this whole http request node this this node and you have to give chat gpt the screenshot and then you have to write the prompt to run this api request in nn what do i need to put in different fields in nn and then after that you will paste the whole um, api code which I can see on the hugging face. So this whole uh, hugging face code, I will copy this and then paste it uh, over here in my chat GPT prompt. Okay, so after that chat GPT will give you uh, the step by step um, things which you will need to do. So first of all, you can see that the method should be post. So my this have already been uh, given so this is the post method I'm using and then uh, over here you can see my chat GPT has given me the URL it says copy this exact URL so I have just pasted this URL over here and then authentication is set to none so I have to turn on send headers and then I have to um, give some parameters so authentication is none selected so i have to specify my headers so the very first header is uh, authorization 
so authorization will be your header uh, header name and then this bearer code is the um, first word you will be writing and then after that your um, this uh, your hugging face token will be you'll be you'll be input that hugging face token so I'll be showing you how you can create hugging face token as well so then we have content type application JSON so this is content type and application JSON and then I have this send body uh, toggle button on and then body content type is JSON so this is also JSON in the chat GPT and then um, you can use uh, either JSON or using fields below so I am using my fields because I am taking my this input from my previous node but we can just uh, for now use this JSON so let's say this is the JSON let's copy this and paste it over here okay so um, then your HTTP request node is done and you have to execute this step so it will take a couple of seconds or maybe minutes so it will give you the image okay in the meantime uh, let me show you how you can create your hugging face token so all you need to do is you have to click on your profile and then go to access tokens over here you will find your already built access tokens but if you're new uh, you can create your new token so let's say this is my test token whatsoever you can uh, give any name and you have to click all of the uh, repositories uh, you have to click check all the interfaces options all the workflows all the collections um, all the discussion and posts billing and jobs so after checking all these check boxes uh, no need to check uh, repository permissions and other things you just have to click create token and your token will be created so let's say this is my test one so when I click create token so you can see uh, after clicking create token my token is generated so I can just copy this and save it in some safe place because um, you will only have will be able to see this once so after I close this model this will be gone and I then no longer be able to access this code so I need to generate another code for the next time okay so I think so my uh, node is executed and yeah I can see the data and I can view this image astronaut riding a horse so actually this prompt was um, sent in the JSON for in the JSON format so you can also send prompt from your previous nodes and then it will generate uh, images accordingly